Big Sur, it kind of got a little rocky again. And it just kind of started away on us. It, it was a lot emotionally to try to just figure out where we're staying, how we're getting power, how we're getting water, and um, yeah, it just, it just became a lot. And so we decided it would be good to settle down. So we went on Oregon's volunteer website and found a few camp hosting opportunities, uh, made a few phone calls, and what, three days later, we were on the road to where we're at now? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Heidi. Thanks, Heidi. <laughs> Um, I made it all possible, yeah. It was it was really nice to find this opportunity. I guess that a lot of young people who travel do camp hosting, and so they were quite surprised when they received our application, but um, we loved it. And so we were really grateful to find a place that we can settle down and kind of catch our breath because it felt like lots of negative energy so consistently after leaving Big Sur. So when we got the camp posted, like he said, we booked it up to Portland and we've kind of been camping outside of Portland as the camp post at a campground. Um, and yeah, just been running that. We knew it was gonna be fun. We didn't know it was gonna be so awesome. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it really has been such a good time. first got here it rained and it rained, rained. <laughs> and it rained some more yeah. non-stop I think since we've been here we've had three like completely sunny days it's been spotty sun but like for an hour maybe and then just rain again so <laughs> yeah one of, one of the rangers told us that they set records here for how much rain they got this month in April. Yeah and all that rain was something that we really desired when we were in the desert this past winter it was really dry and we were like oh just give us water and then we got here and it was like non-stop raining and we're like oh my gosh too much water but it really has been beautiful when we got here spring was just starting and so everything was just barely green and super mossy and over the course of the month of us being here it has just exploded um, with flowers and more moss and i mean still lots of rain but it's just it's just gorgeous here and it reminds us of home like Michigan but with mountains. <laughs> the UP of Michigan, not the Lower Peninsula. <laughs> Morning coffee and the paper. It's a camp report. Since we've gotten here, it's been really nice. Um, we've been able to slow down quite a bit. We've been able to focus on us um, and kind of get out of that normal bus life routine. Mm -hmm. um, since getting here, we've had additional responsibilities as camp hosts. And so it's really helped us find new routines that I think we've really enjoyed. Having responsibilities every day that isn't tied to bus life and simply just like living that life and, and doing like a service was mm -hmm. really fulfilling. Nice, enjoyable. It was nice to get out of the bus for once. Yeah, and talking with people. Like, you think bus life, we travel a lot, but we don't get to have those really intimate connections with people and the rangers and, and the campers that we've met here and the other camp hosts. Like, it's just, it was truly valuable to, to experience this with them. Yeah, it's been wonderful so far. Yeah. So as camp hosts, we were asked to work about three to four hours a day. And some days we sell firewood, which is included, but what it really boiled down to is we went from campsite to campsite and checked the fire pits to clean out trash and grab any other trash that might have escaped and really just make sure that the campsites look neat and are welcoming for the guests to come. Yeah, and just kind of keeping overall the campground 
facilities nice. Not like the bathrooms, but you know, just picking up branches. It, it was pretty easy, but I mean, really fulfilling. And it helped the rangers out, you know, they're so busy and I don't know, soothing those simple tasks. A3. A3. Let's clean it. Get in the shot. <laughs> area um, can't like camp temp area here and that I think was my favorite part was walking every morning through the trails of the camping the tech camp sites so. yeah. even though it rained like every single day <laughs> and sometimes uh. sometimes it was hailing oh, like yeah. non-stop super hard it was crazy but we just enjoyed it and embraced it you know we had waited so long for rain that I think we were just so happy and appreciative of anything we could get <laughs> yeah and it was nice to get out every single day I mean mm -hmm. just getting in that routine and getting to go walk the different camping areas um, it was really fulfilling mm -hmm. you going? yep mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish Also help with projects. Uh, we fixed some gutters there. Uh, we power washed uh, one of their amphitheater screens. Um, what else did we do? Oh man, like replaced some lights, drove the trails to check them. I mean, just lots of like odds and ends. Basically, any like random tasks that they needed done. Um, got, that... to, got to drive the golf carts. Yeah. Got to drive the gator. <laughs> it was pretty fun. It was fun. <laughs>
after this month, we feel very rejuvenated. A little stir crazy with all the rain, we're just ready to get out and do stuff, but um, we really needed that time to kind of slow down. And originally the plan after here was to continue pretty quick travels through Washington and Idaho to get back to Michigan by August. And it felt like there were a lot of reasons and life was guiding us to go home earlier and stay for longer, so. Who's going potty? Big Mama's <laughs> going potty. For those of you who don't know, Big Mama's had trouble going potty. So every time she goes potty, we celebrate now. She's potty! <laughs> Woo! Good Mama. So the reason we want to try to get home a little bit quicker is Big Cat uh, is struggling. She's getting old and um, she's had a couple issues since we've gotten here. She's had a few UTIs. And so we are going to book it back home a little bit quicker so we can get her some veterinary care and get some blood work done and make sure our old girl keeps trucking. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously bus life can be a little bit stressful for cats. She handled it the best out of all of them. She likes to look out when we're driving and she enjoys that. But um, especially here at the campground, there's other dogs and people. She doesn't want to go outside. It's been rainy. And so we think just getting her home and having a big open space that she's familiar with to roam and enjoy however long we have left with her um is what we want and so yeah that's i think why it's yeah. really important there's lots of reasons why we're going home but i think that's that's the big one yeah. she was an outdoor cat she came to us with freedom we want to give that freedom back to her And so we just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of the rangers, the other hosts, uh, Pete and Crystal, Heidi, Duncan, Aaron, Nick, Nick Scott. Scott. <laughs> Everybody here made our experience so welcoming and something that we were a little nervous going into, you know, we had never done. Um, they just embraced us with open arms and I mean, we loved it. We definitely want to come back and host some more and, and see what other types of jobs there are. And, definitely come back to this this um, campground because we loved it so much and yeah so just thank you all for for this experience and and um, allowing us to you know help and have a place to come and but yeah today is our last day here and it was really bittersweet saying goodbye to everybody and we said goodbye to other our other hosts yesterday and that was really tough leaving a place you know and, yeah. and saying those goodbyes and you know we stayed so long here we really built those relationships that we haven't really gotten to do on the road yet yeah. so yeah we miss you all <laughs> yeah even though we're so ready to go yeah it's also so hard to leave it too. is yeah yeah so much pulling us away but so much that you know is Making, keeping us here yeah desiring us to stay here It's an outdoor kitty to get dirty, you know.